Welcome to this Tobacco University video going over using aeroponics to clone cannabis. I'll not only go over some of the steps here in a video lecture, at the end I will actually show you uh, the process that you would go through to utilize this and take what you learn and put it into action. All right, let's get into using aerop aeroponics to clone cannabis plants. Well, first off, realize that aeroponics, you can uh, purchase them or you can uh, have a homemade kit. Plants really don't care as long as the basics are provided on a consistent basis uh, to them. So there's not great swings or variability as they're going through this uh, propagation time. Purchase systems offer a quick plug and play option and have increased upfront cost. Uh, home uh, made kits may take a little bit of refinement to go through to make sure you get it dialed just in just right. The easy clone is one of the standards um, is in the industry. It's a very efficient aeroponic cloning machine, uh, and I'll use this one as an example. Also on this channel, I have a more detailed video specifically going over the easy clone there because it is such an effective system and used on a large scale. So the key step to any aeroponic cloner is you want to have all the equipment set up functional, stabilized, and tested before you take the actual cuttings. A lot of growers get in and want to just take the cuttings. That should be the very last step. You want to make sure you have everything uh, set up ahead of time. With a system that has several parts, it's possible for a small, seemingly insignificant component to hold up the entire operation. I'll give the example here of these little misters. If you break one or if it's not sitting right, it may not spray right, um, and that could affect the entire system. So key step, have everything set up ahead of time, equipment-wise, before you even think about taking your cuttings. Then you want to focus on the physical parts first. So make sure you have everything that is needed uh, physically set up, check everything, make sure all the pieces are present, make sure they all fit together, and make sure they're all working properly. With an aeroponic cloner, you want to make sure you have the pumps working, the filters, you have enough foam discs, your spray nozzles are all clean, and you also have a drain plug oriented in the right methods. When you're done, uh, it will be easier to take down this process. And this again shows you the easy clone, some of the assembly of materials that is required to make it operate properly. Now checking that support equipment. So what's that support equipment? Well, if you're growing in a grow tent, make sure that's all set up, make sure the zippers are all working, make sure your lights are functional and hung properly, you get the right bulb in there, the right intensity, the right spacing, uh, your ventilation, make sure your fans are all working, your temperature is not getting too hot or too cold. You want to have a water monitoring system, put the water in it along with any nutrient solutions you might be adding. Again, just check all these to make sure they're all 100% functional and ready to receive the clones. Now that water and related items that I mentioned, the water quality is the PPM, the temperature, the pH, make sure those are all dialed in. That's typically done with a water monitor. Here I use the Blue Lab Guardian monitor and any water additives. Here I'm using the Clone X Clone uh, gel, um, the gel on the actual plants and then also the solution in the actual aeroponic cloner. These are the general targets that I shoot for, 730 parts per million, uh, 74 degrees Fahrenheit and a pH around 6.4. Now, uh, put it all together, make sure everything's running properly, allow for everything to run for a period of time is also important to ensure everything is stable and within acceptable ranges. Your temperature might fluctuate a little bit when that pump's running, if that pump gets warm. So again, make sure everything is within acceptable ranges. Uh, adding the clone is the very last step, and it's probably the most fun step, but it is the definitely the last step. Plant additions are very at the very end. Make sure everything else is checked and also rechecked. The goal is to minimize the transition time to enter the propagation uh, supportive environment, help reduce the chance of plant loss, and help maximize uh, your chance at cloning or rooting of those vegetative propagated clones. So now that I've kind of gone through this all, well, let's see it in action. So here I'll go through the process, and I hope you enjoy this. Okay, so here I'm going to show you the cuttings we took earlier and how to get them ready to go into the aeroponic cloner. So here is one of the clones we took earlier. You can see it's wet because it just came out of this beaker full of water to keep it hydrated. This one doesn't need too much trimming, but what we are going to do to try to maximize the rooting potential is I've got some Clonex gel here. It's just a rooting hormone. It's a simple oxen. And take our clone. We're going to put that into the gel. You can see now it's got it's coating with that purple coloration. Take our little foam blot, foam cube here. Sorry, foam circle. Gonna take our little okay, we take our little foam circle here, put that around the collar. You can see this area is gonna be what's gonna root. This is gonna be the area that's gonna be rooting. 
and then this is gonna be the top growth area. We're gonna add this to our aeroponic declona. Here I'm gonna show you how we go about cloning a cannabis plant here. So here was one cutting we just took from the mother or stock plant. Now, because we're gonna be putting it into an aeroponic cloner, we're gonna have this foam collar to put around it. So as a result, we do not wanna have anything in that dark environment it's just gonna rot and have a chance for mold or disease to develop. So we're gonna take this node right here, and we're just gonna break that section off right there. We, we can discard these portions, we don't need those. Throw those right in the trash there. Now we've got our clone basically ready to go. However, to increase the odds of rooting, I'm gonna take some Clonex gel, put some of that on the end there. We can see here that gel really sticks well to the bottom of that clone. That's where it's gonna be rooting. Then I go through and I take the foam circular disc there, put that around it. That's ultimately what's gonna hold the clone. And now we can start to see how this is going to increase the odds of a favorable rooting environment while also keeping the top growth uh, quite well established there. And this is ultimately going to go into the easy cloner.